welcome you to Los Angeles. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country and a lot of times that's done through sport but for me as a black player when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure baseball's hard enough just to play but then everything sort of on the field off the field and how he persevered through that's so inspiring first pitch coming your way next coming up on the first pitch Starting on the mound in this one, Tyler Glass now. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the fielder, yeah. number 42. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. And here we go on Jackie Robinson Day. Next offering one. is in the dirt. Hey. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Hey. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner with two strikes. You just struggle yeah. to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. C.J. Abrams batting with one down takes a strike. He swings and fouls one off. Next ball, pitch is downstairs. Tough to take a two strike change up that just missed. I think it froze it. Muncie slings it across. Quick oh. start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. As we take a look at the Nationals lineup, they're dealing with a top level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm make him uncomfortable a little bit the guys that can handle the bat and perhaps you know bunt bunt oh. for a base hit get him moving off the mound if you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow yeah. step out mess up his timing somehow try to get in his head a little bit and then when he does come in the zone you may only get one pitch you better not miss it line drive and that's just foul and Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and nope, you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Nats go down one, two, three. Nationals go quietly. The Dodger is coming up, and we are scoreless. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here with my pal Singy and on the mound for Washington in this one, Patrick Corbin. How about a scouting report on him? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw Where that pitch go, uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to oh, hit balls down in the zone, get them yeah, up in yeah. the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to up. That one ripped. And out of here. He sends a rocket to left. His second homer of this series, it's 1 0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. A breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Shohei Otani up to the dish. 
There's a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Smoked on the ground a second. Over to first. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the home run. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup, I think, as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of the season. They could be playing October baseball. Ground ball up the middle. Abrams tosses the first, and Freeman is retired. Two outs, base is empty. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Will Smith. On the ground, Lipscomb. Throws to first, third out, and that ends the frame. Mookie Betts brings the noise on this home run. It's now 1-0. And we're back. Here's Jesse Winker. The left Jesse Winker. And a pitch. We're watching a former Rays pitcher today in Glasnow. He had plenty of good years in Tampa Bay before being traded. He's not the first pitcher with dominant stuff the Rays have dealt. Blake Snell, David Price, and James Shields definitely come to mind, boo. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually if you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it, and that's important because you got to make players earn it. What about an umpire's height? How much of a role does that play in your experience and what the strike zone is like? Yeah, I think it pushes the strike zone up a little bit, which, you know, as a former hitter, you like that. You wanted the ball up. You didn't want to have to deal with stuff down in the zone consistently. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. 3-2, he goes off speed, gets the out. Here's Lane Thomas. Pretty smart not to serve something up for him right there. He's really good at hitting the first pitch. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. One down, base is empty. This one smacked out to left center. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Rose to second. Not in time. He's got a double. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition, and he's got speed to put on a show. And now it's Joey Gallo. And that drops in for a strike. That one catches the zone, and it's 0-2. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. Left-hand batter waits. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Ildemaro Vargas in the box now. No balls and a strike. Thomas at second with two down. And another ball. We got two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss. Oh, the count is even, two and two. Out to short, Betts. Not in time, he's safe. Riley Adams will hit next. He's got it, and that's the third out. So the Nats leave a pair, and it remains. Back here at Chavez Ravine, here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Back to work. Foul ball there. Ground ball right side. 
whips it to Gallo. They get the out on Muncie. And now Teoscar Hernandez. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Out to short. Fires across the diamond. And a couple of quick outs. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. On a line, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Chris Taylor down. Out to short, Abrams. They take the force out, and that is that. One left for L.A., but they still lead it 1-0. Back here in L.A., new inning getting started. And now up for Washington, Trey Lipscomb. Here comes a pitch. Lipscomb getting to start at the hot corner, 23 years old. And he was a third-round pick in 2022. That one's in there, and it's 0-2. Kicks and fires. Foul ball still 0-2. And, and a pitch. And there's a run away. Well, he really filled up the strike zone in that at bat until that final pitch. And as a hitter, you sense that they're coming after you, not dancing around the strike zone. They want to attack. And so you kind of get into swing mode, and you have to protect the plate. That's when you become really susceptible to something that makes you chase. And that's exactly what happened right there. Here's the center fielder. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Popped up. Lux gets under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. And that's outside. One and oh. Two out spaces empty. Loves it on the dive from his knees, the throw. And very nicely done for the out. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And now it's Gavin Lux. The second base. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. Abrams. In plenty of time to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Now back. The shortstop. Mookie. Back. Here's Mookie to hit. He's already homered in this game. This is a batter right here who really produces in these night games, and we saw the latest example of it in his first A.B. That takes low for ball one. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. And now it's even up. One out, base is empty. There's a swing and a drive. That's down. One hops off the wall. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. He was all over that one. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Here's Shohei hey. Otani. Chases that one upstairs. Oh, one A little bit low. The pitch. That one fouled off. Just missed. It's a good take. Base 
misses. Flying around third is Betts. He'll score. It's 2-0. Pulls him to third safely with a triple. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a poor stroke. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's over one. Swing, and that ball smashed down the line. And Freeman is retired. Runner tags for third. It's a sack fly. As he comes across to score, it's three zip. That wasn't your standard sack fly. He barreled that baseball. Just couldn't get it to drop in. The batter, the batter now the will be Will Smith. First time up, he grounded to third. And that one is inside ball one. Right through there for a strike. In the air, out towards left center. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And that is that. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left on. On to inning number four. It's the Dodgers three and the Nationals nothing. As we go to the top of the fourth, and here is Joey Manessis. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. You know, these Nationals just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Jesse Winker digs in now. And there's the strike. All ones the count. And that one hammered. That's back there. Out of here. His second home run of the series. And they've got their first run. It's 3-1. Two pitches, two swings. That one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. Owen Thomas one. stands in now and watches strike one. Swings through that one. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you got a chance. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And that skips in the dirt. To the right side. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. You're and welcome back to the ballpark. Max Muncy at the dish. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Hold Stadium to be count. built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Fouled off to the right. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. That pitcher's probably thinking, he's a little late on that pitch, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up, not give him something off speed that he can handle. That's hard hit in the line. And it stays fair. Throws to second. And he'll pull into second safely. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And 
At that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Winker makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. In there oh, safely. Yeah. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And that one is lifted in the air. Settles underneath it. He makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. Play it home. He's safe. And they're up by three. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Chris Taylor, the next to hit. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that keeps the inning alive. Wastes no time there. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Got out in front and... Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. And now, Gavin Lux. Yeah. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. <laughs> Lifted in the air and on the left side. That gets down for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Here's Mookie now. He's already homered here in this one. And a foul ball. Traffic on the bases with one already in. And we're here in the bottom of the fourth. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And here it comes. In the air, left field, down the line. Winker should have it. Corrals it. And that is the third out of the inning. All set for the start of the inning. Up now for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. And nope. ball one. Well, these Nats, as this ball game one, goes no on, play. have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Riley Adams. Hey. And a big swing and a miss. 0 and 1. In the air to left center. And it drops in. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And a swing and a miss there. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Swings and misses. Picks up strikeout number seven. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. And now the center fielder. On the corner for a strike. 0-1. Oh, one's one the count. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Another strikeout for Glass now. So one left for Washington, and they trail it 4-1. Back here at Chavez Ravine, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Shohei Otani. Corbin, back to work. Right through there for a strike. You can never say enough about Otani. In 2023, he became the first player in AL-NL history to hit 40-plus home runs. Oh, diving stop. Throws from the seat of his pants. On the money. Nice play. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's on for one. Ready. Freeman. That one the other way, and it's into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. 
And that's a two bagger. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Fall off foul. And now the lefty. That one hooked foul. Freeman, the runner at second with one away. Way inside. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. To third. And it's through for a hit. Coming home. Now a long throw home. It's off the line. The run comes in. And they lead by four. It appears Dave Martinez. So they turn to the lefty in this spot. Robert Garcia. This southpaw's been really good against left-handed hitters. Here comes Max Muncy. Now fly ball to right center. Hauls it in for the out. Two away now. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swing, and this one's bounced to the ground. To first, oh, and he good. beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Around third, fires it to the plate, and it's offline. It's 6-1. What if they're looking to be aggressive and got something he can handle? Nice swing to drive that pitch up the middle. Could have easily been out in front on the off-speed and pulled off of it, but he was looking. And a base hit in the right center field. The run scores from third. It's 7-1. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing. For the Gallo goal. takes it himself. They limit the damage here. They strike for three runs on five hits. No errors and a couple left on. Back at the ballpark here on Jackie Robinson Day. Now the number two oh. hitter, C.J. Abrams. Help, I can't play know. around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this hey. point. Got to attack hitters yeah, even if you give up right. a solo shot. The shortstop takes the ball. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to yep, exploit them if out. they can. And yeah, that's outside. And yeah, the count even one and one. You know, Singy, when you think about every player wearing number 42 on Jackie Robinson Day, you can thank Ken Griffey Jr. for all of it. Griffey was the Ball first player out. to come up with the idea of wearing number 42 back on April 15th in 1997, the 50th anniversary of Robinson's Major League debut. The Dodgers up big in this one, and we're in the top half of the sixth. That was also the day that Bud Selig retired his number, and Griffey, who was playing for the Mariners at the time, has to have his uniform number flip-flop, switching from 24 to 42. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Winker, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. That one at the knees for a strike. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Three up, three down that time. Top of the... And we're back. Here's... Mookie Betts. The pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. Well, you always have Hold to be careful down. in these spots because Mookie is lethal in the leadoff spot. He has the most multi-home run games out of the leadoff. Left field, way back there. 
Tattooed and gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they add on. It's 8-1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Stepping in, Shohei Otani. Now a screamer into the outfield. And they get Otani for the out. And there's one down. And next for L.A., Freddie Freeman, one for two. And first offering is fouled off. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Freeman hits it in the air. Winker makes the grab on the run. Now That's just a really nice Winker. catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Gathers and throws to first. And they get the out on. We go to the top of the seventh. And now up for Washington, Lane Thomas. Blast now, back to work. Inside, ball Inside one. just missed. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now they just don't have it. And here comes the Dodgers mound. Pitching change coming. New pitcher now, Ryan Brazier. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Great location with that two-strike fastball. I'll tell you what, as a hitter, we're looking to protect the outside part of the plate, stay back on something off speed. So many times, that location with two strikes, you just can't get around on it, and that's a tough one to compete with. Strike on the inside corner. The Nationals with a lot of ground to make up here in the top half of inning number seven. Struck him out looking. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. Two outs. Foul ball still a one and two count. And the righty deals. In the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And bottom of the seventh. And the batter now, Max Muncy. As the lefty gets to work. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! He sends it out of here, and they boost their lead. It's 9-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Now Matt Barnes takes over. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Now one out to right. Makes the grab one away. And up next for Los Angeles, James Outman. In the air, right field. Thomas under this one. 
Makes the catch. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Chris Taylor now at the plate. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Up the middle. Fires to first on the run. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Well, he did all he could at short to try to make an amazing play and almost got it done, but good hustle down the line, and that's an earned infield hit. Swing and a soft liner out to left field. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Line to left. And a base hit right there. The run comes in from second, and they now lead by nine. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So first and second with two outs. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. On a bounce right side. Whips it to Gallo. Oh. Inning over, and it could have been worse. So... Back here in L.A., we go to the eighth. Now, Riley Adams. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Oh, and when you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. And the pitch. That's the third. Muncy. Rolls across oh. the diamond. One up, one down. Trey Lipscomb getting ready to hit. You see the velocity 97 the with that fastball. One down, base is empty. The punch out there. That's the second out. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Nick Ramirez. He's making his second appearance of the season. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece and stays alive. At the belt and fires. Bows it back with two strikes. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swings and misses, struck him out. This one pretty well decided at this point. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Dodgers 10 and the Nats 1. On to the bottom of the eighth, and here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, one gone to the bottom of the eighth. And up to the... Plate is Will Smith. And first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. That's ripped. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
And now it's Max Muncy. A stack center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Throw into third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. One down. And now the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Puts it in the air out towards left center. He's got it. Runner tags for home. He's in on the sacrifice fly. And it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. She can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. And there's a foul ball. One run across to the frame so far. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And down on strikes. Third out. Back here at Dodgers. New arm out of the bullpen, Alex Vesia. He last pitched two days ago. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Vesia, a 6-1 lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, That's a, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses to first. Now one gone in the ninth. Now it's the D.H. Joey Manessis. Right through there for a strike. That one finds the zone. That's strike two. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. So they're down to their final out. Jesse Winker digging in. He swings and fouls one off. Two outs. Not one, one, close one. with that one. And it's one and one. On the ground, and this should do it. And that chance handled. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Dodgers take this one in a blowout. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. An 11-1 final. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Eight runners on.